Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 1st, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. If there's one thing that you do want to take care of before you're heading in the hopefully extended uh, weekend, at least here in the US, uh, then it is uh, CVE 2021-1675, a Windows print spooler vulnerability that also has been called print nightmare. This vulnerability essentially affects all versions of Windows that are currently uh, being supported and it was patched this June in the June patch Tuesday update, but apparently it wasn't patched completely. There was also a little bit of mislabeling going on here where initially Microsoft labeled this as a privilege escalation vulnerability, but uh, earlier this week, Microsoft updated the advisory and uh, did label it as a remote code execution vulnerability. And what really made this even worse is that it appears that the patch was incomplete and the day before yesterday, a proof of concept exploit for this vulnerability was published on GitHub. The initial GitHub repository was quickly taken down by the author, uh, but uh, there are multiple forks of this GitHub repository and the code is pretty easily available. So, well, uh, what do you need to do? There is no patch. Uh, Well, definitely make sure that you did apply the June patches. But as mentioned, the patch that was published by Microsoft does not protect you from this proof of concept that was published. Your next best option is to disable the print spooler. Of course, with that, you may break printing. There are, of course, certain high value systems like your domain controllers that usually don't really have any business printing. So you probably definitely want to disable the print spooler on these systems. Now, if there's anything good about this vulnerability, then it is that an attacker does need valid credentials. The attacker first needs to authenticate before they can actually launch the exploit. So uh, this may make exploitation slightly more difficult and of course will also prevent some simple worm from being created using this vulnerability. But in particular, uh, for an attacker that already has a foothold in your network, uh, this becomes like a great sort of lateral movement exploit because the attacker already has a account and can now use this uh, to take over individual machines. And that's, of course, and that's where a lot has been written about is where the domain controller comes in. If your domain controller does run the print spooler, then, of course, uh, it is vulnerable and could be taken over by any user on the network. On your perimeter, of course, standard uh, firewall rules uh, should protect you. And uh, that's something that you hopefully already have in place. Uh, But uh, for sort of this lateral movement type of attack, this uh, could become a big issue. And something similar to what we have seen, like, you know, with uh, Blue Keep and vulnerabilities like that. Given the high profile of this vulnerability, also watch out for updated guidance from Microsoft, maybe even a patch. I kind of doubt that they'll come up with an improved patch before the weekend, but you never know. Definitely be ready for that and be ready to apply that patch as it becomes available. More likely, I think uh, this updated patch will be rolled into the July uh, patch Tuesday. But uh, like I said, you never know. So uh, be ready for it. We will keep uh, this uh, diary that I posted earlier today up to date over the weekend in case there are any sort of late breaking uh, developments uh, like uh, more guidance from Microsoft or any new patches or any new exploit activity. In the same note, if you see anything out there that you think we should cover, uh, please uh, let us know. And talking about Windows patches, at the end of the month, of course, we sometimes get functional patches from Microsoft. Sort of an interesting patch that was released with this update on June 23rd. And that's an update for Internet Explorer 11. Now, Internet Explorer 11, of course, is going away, but still going to see support for about a year. And the update that you may have seen come in for Internet Explorer 11 
uh, will fix some issues uh, with uh, PDFs and apparently also some gaming performance issues that apparently have been introduced by removing Adobe Flash. And we got some new vulnerabilities in Netgear routers, in particular DGN 2200v1 routers. And these vulnerabilities discovered by Microsoft's research team include an interesting password leak vulnerability. In order to check if the password is correct, the router uses the string compare function in C, strcmp. And while this is sort of a logic function uh, to use for something like this. The problem is that the time at which uh, the error is being returned does depend on how many characters matched. So uh, the function compares one character at a time, the further it gets into the password, the longer it takes for the error to be returned. Now, the difference is sort of in the uh, millisecond range, but something certainly detectable. And Microsoft's uh, blog has uh, some sample measurements showing how this can be used to then decode the password. And well, that's it for today. And as I announced yesterday, I'm not planning a podcast for Friday or Monday due to the July 4th weekend. Now, if anything interesting sort of happens uh, with uh, the printer spool vulnerability, I may do a quick podcast for Friday, but uh, so far I'm not really uh, planning on it. Again, watch uh, the diary for any updates that we may find. That's it, and thanks for listening, and talk to you again on Tuesday. Bye.